All right, so how you doing today? Today we're gonna to take a look at some of the U-Jam instruments here, primarily vibe, uh, lots of different sounds you can get out of this thing, and we're gonna be playing it with their bassist Dandy and their drummer Deep. These are really cool instruments. They have a bunch of different uh, series of sounds, libraries, if you will, samples, uh, libraries that are instruments. Uh, Deep being a virtual drummer, Dandy being a virtual bassist, Vibe being a virtual pianoist. This is the e-piano, electric piano. And they have different uh, products you can buy. There'll be links in the video description below as well. So today I thought I would just go through playing with the different instruments here in different patterns, preset sounds, mostly in Vibe. We'll be going through a lot of the different preset sounds and sounds that you can get out of Vibe and the patterns and stuff like that. Most of their instruments have two different modes, player mode, or instrument mode where you could do just one finger or chords up here uh, it's gonna play a pattern for you based on your chords. same with the drums we have different patterns we have different things I made other videos about this you could check those out I'm just gonna get right into this today and start messing around with these three different plugins see what we come up with relatively quickly let's go okay so we got vibe here and we have it in instrument mode for some reason. There we go. Let's go one of these presets here, kitchen sink. Make this smaller so I can see it. Okay, so virtual instrument vibe, virtual pianoist vibe, if you will. I put a chord progression up here. We're gonna load up Dandy, which is a UJAM bass player, one of them. So we got Dandy loaded up. We'll load up Deep as well, which is another virtual instrument by them. One of the drummers. And let's try this out. So we're gonna close that temporarily. We're gonna take the chords here. Now I raised the chords up an octave so they match the uh, player within virtual piano here. Because if I hit these lower keys, it's gonna trigger the different patterns. But actually, let's put it into player mode here, instrument mode. Just get the chords going. We'll take this, we'll put it on the deep as well. And we could just take the bass notes from here, the lower notes, if you will. So get rid of these chords, keep these lower notes. And we'll raise them up an octave so they trigger the bass as well. So let's just see what this sounds like with just the chords and the bass pattern. Okay, so pretty cool so far. Let's go back into these MIDI files and get rid of these bass notes down here so they don't trigger it when we actually put it into player mode. Let's see here, C3 is the lowest note. We could just, we want that note. We wanna mute these ones. Put it back into player mode here. And now we're gonna trigger some patterns. Start off with some simple ones. This is just the preset kitchen sink sounds and everything. All right, I really don't like that, so let's just try something different here. All right, that's kind of cool. We'll add some drums from uh, Deep. And we're gonna put this in Latch mode, I might have it set that way already. There we go, latch, micro timing, song position. So we'll just hit some random beats here and see what happens. Just the default setting, pure gold. We'll 
we'll use that one. Let's drag this over. Put that there. Check out these fills. Maybe we'll just test it out. We'll just throw a fill over here. Loop that. And we can play around with the sounds, but we'll just get something going here for right now. And just go back to the electric piano and see what other little patterns we could have. Maybe slow that tempo a little bit. Pretty cool already. Got a vibe going, got a beat going here. We'll go through some other uh, sounds within vibe and check out what else we could do here. I kind of like that power and that's pretty cool, but we'll go through some different sounds here. Um, we can select, if we do the presets up here, it'll change the pattern that's playing and the sound of the electric piano. Or we can do it down here, we're just gonna change the pattern we got basic and we got more advanced. So let's get this, keep that sound for now. Um, it's very easy to go through the sounds and, and, and change the sound. We have these different finisher, we have the ambience. Um, so let's just see what we got going in here with that. And then we'll go through some different patterns if we like that. We'll find a sound we like that matches the drums and bass. This one kind of works well as it is. We can quickly get a, something that sounds nothing like an electric piano. It does a little bit, but with the effects, it kind of has a synth vibe, and you could get really creative with the ambience and the finisher over here. Um, so that's pretty cool. lighter or darker all right so let's get through some different styles here um, they have tempo recommendations in here but we can use them at any tempo let's just start out with the 68 beats per minute see what happens
All right, cool. So as you can see here, I mean, I haven't even gone through all of them. Let's go see what the more advanced ones sound like. And then we'll go through some different preset sounds here. gets out of hand pretty quickly. Let's go through here inside my head piano preset. Kind of a darker. Let's go through some of these experimental ones and remix. So pretty cool. And we haven't even changed the bass and drum sounds at all. We could experiment with that. Let's just go in here and pick something that's, let's see, see styles and standards. Okay, we got some tempo up or suggestions here. Let's go to 106 smart octaves. We can change our drum sound in deep. Change our bass around here, some different patterns.
Okay, and uh, the dandy bass here has a finisher as well, different bass settings and everything. Um, and the cool thing about deep and dandy is that um, if we take the presets here, let's just pick one of these. Um, it looks like three, four. Uh, we'll just keep the one we have. Coffee at noon. Now you could dial in the bass sound a little better here if you want, but right now I'm going to go back to the drummer and we're going to check Coffee at Noon, which is a preset they have in here as well. And we're going to get rid of that MIDI file because it's going to play the MIDI if I do that. And these will play with the bass. They're kind of lined up, playing together. Pretty cool. Now this works with Deep and Dandy at the moment. They have other virtual drummers that you can use. Maybe if you use the MIDI files from these. Um, I'm just going to show you this real quick. So right now we have the organ playing or the electric piano, the bass, and then we'll just throw some sounds in here from the drums. So really, really cool. Now we have the drummer and the bass player playing, you know, very tightly together. Uh, we can still use this beat if we want. We don't have to use that one. You know, and then you can make some edits in your MIDI and stuff like that if you want to. You get to line up. Right now the bass is just triggering by these notes from the that I took from the chord progression. And of course we all have drag and they all have drag and drop here that you can drag into your DAW as well and tweak some stuff if you want to do that. So overall, really cool. Um, yeah, this is a lot of fun to explore um, and have some fun with. And you could really create some cool things. And of course, you don't have to use the dandy and the, you know, whatever. You could use other drum sounds. We got the MIDI here if you want to take that MIDI. And let's just check it out with a, you know, whatever, Logic Drummer or something, or even an electronic kit. Now, some of the MIDI modes might be off a bit. So is, we'll try one of these drum kits. So really cool, a lot of really cool stuff here. I do have other videos for some other, bunch of other UGM products. There's a link in the video description below. You can try out all these software for 30 days free trial. Um, so check them out. Let me know if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Check out my other videos, I'll pop them up on the screen here and I will talk to you soon.